Hey guys, it's Lindy. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I have a little unboxing for you guys. I wanted to show you what I got in my Sephora Play box this month. So I've been getting these boxes for a few months now and I really like everything that I've been getting. So I just wanted to do um, an unboxing for you guys and kind of show you guys. <laughs> It's a new monthly subscription box, and I remember trying the Ipsy subscription box a few years back, and I just really didn't like any of the products that I got in there. I just thought everything was very mediocre. You know, I kept getting like nail polishes and stuff, and you know, uh, makeup brushes, just stuff that wasn't, I, I don't know, I just didn't really like what came in the box. So I ended up like canceling that. Um, but when I discovered that Sephora had a subscription box, I I thought it was really interesting and I figured that I would just try it out so um, yeah let me just kind of show you guys what I got in this month's box and we'll kind of go through all the products together I'll you know explain what everything does so that if you're in the market for a new subscription box maybe you want to cancel like your Netflix or Hulu subscription and give this a try you can just kind of see what products are in here and that'll just kind of give you guys a better idea. So, okay, so let's get into the box. And by the way, you guys don't mind my like side ponytail today. I'm just not having, it's just one of those days, okay? I'm not having a very good hair day. So let's see what we get in the box here. So it comes with this little card and it kind of just like basically gives you a list of, honey, can you sit down please? Okay, so the box comes with this little card and it just kind of gives you a layout of all the products that you get and explains what everything does. So I just think that that's a really nice concept because you can look through everything and you can read through the product description. Okay, so like I was saying, you can just kind of read through all the product descriptions and really get a nice idea of exactly what you get in your box. So, okay, so this is the little package that you get when you open up the box. So it's just got the little play logo on the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and pull out the first product. So the very first thing that I got in my box is the Herborian Korean Skin Therapy CC Cream. So this is like an all-in-one skin perfecter product and mine is in the shade Claire. Now, when you first sign up for the Sephora Play Box, you're gonna go online and you're gonna make your own online profile. So you're gonna choose what skin tone you are, if you want to receive more like skincare or makeup products. So it is customized to you, so not everyone is gonna get the same thing in their box. It says this high definition CC cream delivers a luminous complexion that's prepped for makeup plus their non-oily formula protects skin with SPF 25. And then it tells you how to use it. It says use your fingertips to apply a dime size amount over the face until completely blended. So this is probably something that I would use under my makeup as like a first step in my skincare, sort of like, um, you know, sort of like a primer that is gonna go underneath my foundation to just give my skin kind of like a radiance boost. So I'm really excited to try this actually. I'm really big on like CC creams and BB creams. I use them a lot. And they're kind of like, of like a very lightweight uh, prep to the skin. So yeah, I'm really excited to try this. The next thing that I got in my box is this Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. I really like the Batiste Dry Shampoo. I think it's a really great dry shampoo. And I'm someone who only washes my hair maybe like twice a week. So this is something that I am really excited to try. And I read that it gets really good reviews on the Sephora website. So let's just um, read through the product description real quick. It says the Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo is an oil absorbing spray that instantly refreshes hair and adds volume. This quick no wash cleanser is the perfect match for your second day hair. It leaves soft strands, smooths and volumizes, plus the scent is oh so fresh. Okay. Next up, we have what I'm wearing on my lips today because I wanted to try this out before um, I filmed this video just so that I could kind of also give you guys an idea of some of these products and try them out. So this is the Grande Lips Hydra, Hydra Plump Liquid Lipstick in the shade Desert Peak. I really like this, you guys. When I first put it on, 
it really tingles the lips and I feel like it does a really good job of plumping the lips. Plus I just really like the shade and the color. So let me give you guys a quick little swatch on the back of my hand so that you guys can kind of see it here. It's a beautiful, beautiful color and I think this would look good on like all skin types and all skin tones. So the little description on the liquid lipstick here says that it's a liquid lipstick in a terracotta pink shade with a semi matte finish. This long wear creamy liquid lipstick visibly plumps and hydrates skin with Volulip, Insta Plump, and Hyaluronic Acid, making it the gift that keeps on giving. This is something that I would probably purchase in like a larger size once it runs out because I really like it. And I've also tried some liquid lipsticks in the past that also just kind of really dry out my lips, but I've been wearing this um, for a few hours now and it's just really moisturizing. So I'm really impressed with this. All right, so the next thing that I got in my Sephora Playbox this month is this teeny little travel size guy of the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Um, I've tried this in the past and this is a really nice setting powder, you guys. It is gonna be translucent so anyone can wear it and it does a really good job of locking your makeup in place and making sure that you don't get oily throughout the day. But if you are on the drier side, this can get a little drying, okay? So just keep that in mind. Um, I switched to the It Cosmetics pore perfecting translucent powder and I like that just a little bit better than this but this is still a really good translucent setting powder if you are in the market for a translucent setting powder then I would definitely recommend giving this guy a try the next thing that I got in my box is this Clinique pep start eye cream so on the little description here it says that it's a lightweight eye cream that brightens and hydrates skin in an instant this cream helps visibly depuff skin for a refreshed look plus peptides support natural collagen reserves that are threatened by work family visitors and holiday party overload so as you can see they're really trying to kind of like do a holiday Christmas theme here with this box which I think is you know clever and cute so I'm really excited to try this eye cream I don't really have any eye creams right now so I will try this out and kind of let you guys know maybe in like a Instagram story or something how I like it all right, you guys, so last but not least, I got this perfume. It's by Juliet Has a Gun. It says it's not a perfume. I don't really know a whole lot about this perfume. So let's just see, let's see what the um, description says. All right, so it says, this fresh and clean scent is composed of just one note. Cetalox, I don't, I don't even know how to pronounce that or say that making it a hypoallergenic and ideal for people who normally pass on perfumes. It says about the brand, Juliet Has a Gun is a fragrance collection inspired by the Shakespearean heroine that crafts feminine romance scents for the modern woman. So let's, let's just take this out and smell this real quick because I'm really picky on perfumes and so I don't know if I'm gonna like this. Okay. I'm not really liking this and I'll tell you guys why. It's got a very musky scent to it and I mean there's nothing wrong with that. Like I definitely love per certain perfumes that are a little bit musky and woodsy. I really like the Yves Saint Laurent um, Black Opium. That's a really good perfume. But I don't know if I'm gonna like this. But I will say this, um, in my last month's subscription box, I received the Kat Von D Saint and Sinner perfumes. And I will be repurchasing the fragrance Saint by Kat Von D in the near future because that is a really good fragrance. It's like florally and woodsy and musky at the same time. And it was really nice. Like I was, I was blown away by it. So that is everything that I got in my box, you guys. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you're interested in the Sephora Play Box, I would definitely recommend giving it a try because I've been really impressed with everything that's come in my box so far. So um, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the little bell icon below so that you can be notified anytime that I post a new video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.